Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Well, today's flavor is toasted hazelnut. Hazelnut was always my favorite. Now I have a lot of favorites. The coffee industry and the wine industry and the beer industry has totally expanded all their flavor experiences, which is good, but you know, sometimes tried and true is still the best. So that's what I'm having today is the toasted hazelnut. And it's going to be 94 degrees. Ugh. Now I know some of you that live in, you know, Arizona and California, you're going, oh, that piece of cake. You guys get into the hundreds. That's terrible. So unless you like it, then I guess it's not terrible. But <clears throat> that would be a bit too hot for this girl. So, much to, to my dismay, I have to go back into the garage today. <clears throat> I got my donations out in the driveway because they say to have them out there by 7.30. And uh, they never show up at 7.30, but the one time I don't have it out there, they'll show up at 7.30. So, I, you know, get my stuff done and get it out there. So I'm going to carry on with the decluttering, and if I happen to get more stuff between now and the time they come, I'll put that out too. So I'm making progress in the garage, which is good. So far I've gotten all my cabinets decluttered, um, and on top of the cabinets, pretty much, there's more to do up there. I have one area where I have all the cushions that I use for my outdoor furniture, but the last few years I haven't even been putting that out because it's too much of a hassle to bring it in and out all the time and to leave it out there, even though it is weatherproof, it does get wet and then you sit on it and your whole butt is wet. So, but. I don't want to get rid of those because there may come a time where I decide I want to put a cushion on a chair. <clears throat> so my little buddy's drinking water. They're very loud when they drink. So chocolate creamer today makes it like a Nutella chocolate hazelnut with some caramel thrown in. So I've been trying to expand my creamer experience so that I don't always just use the chocolate caramel. So one of my viewers says the stirring of the coffee makes her crazy. So I don't need to stir the regular coffee as much as I needed to stir the, um, the rice coffee. <clears throat> so anyway, we carry on. Cheers. Yep, very good. So in the summer, a lot of times I switch to iced coffee, especially in the afternoon. In the morning, I still like my morning cup of hot coffee. But in the afternoon, a lot of times I'll make myself a nice big iced coffee. And I really, really like it. But iced coffee and ice cream are two things that I really only eat and drink in the summertime. So I kind of have my day cut out for me. Uh, hopefully things don't come up that I need to leave and stop the process because I find it's always harder to restart than once you're on a roll and you keep going. Otherwise, you have to keep going over in your head, okay, I did this, this, all right, now I have to go to that. Whereas if once you're on a roll, you just kind of move from one thing to another to another. So, all right, well, I will meet you over there at the budget book. Okay, back at the budget book. So yesterday, I didn't spend any money. Yay me. 
So I had a lot of feedback about the budget book, and um, uh, most of it was totally positive, and you either didn't care if you were looking at my budget book page, or you liked the budget book page, and that didn't bother you at all. Uh, a few of you said, you know, you prefer not to do the budget book page, or at least to look at it. So I think, uh, well, the budget book page is going to stay, since majority rules, um, and uh, the reason I do it this way is because then I'm not distracted by trying to film other things while I'm talking about the budget book. And then one of my viewers brought up a good um, point when she said that she's blind and she really likes when people talk and uh, provide the details and there isn't too much visual stimulation going on. And I know, too, a lot of older people don't have the best eyesight anymore, so uh, for them it's a little easier just to listen rather than to watch a lot of things going on. So that's some of the feedback that I got from the question I had about the budget book page. So, um, I'm still trying to keep it on the low spend, even though I have a ton of red X's, like, all over the place. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. But, um, really, I, it's little things here and there. Little storage containers and shelving and, um, things that I'm finding that I need to organize and make things look good because I don't want to just organize things. I want to make it so that it looks nice too. So um, anyway, that's why I have so many red X's. And plus that, of course, you guys all know me and my garden. You know, I got to have it looking nice. Um, and peaceful for me. So, uh, anyway, all right, well, I don't have too much more to say about the budget book. I'm trying to keep the shopping to uh, lower amounts, uh, not spending a whole lot on incidentals, because I've spent a whole lot on home repairs. And now that I need the deck fixed because of the uh, black ants, that's another monkey wrench in the works. So I have to figure out how I'm going to get that done. But that, I, w I won't fix that until fall. But the boards are getting really rotten. So, okay. Well, I'll keep the budget book uh, segment here short and sweet today. Because I have to go concentrate on my oh-so-nasty garage. And I'll take you with me. Okay, there is my donation pile for this time. Hopefully there'll be more next time. Oh, here I am, so easily distracted. I'm, I'm at the middle school waiting to pick up my grandson. Uh, and then my daughter wanted me to uh, come over and have breakfast with her. So that's what I'm doing this morning. So the work will have to wait until this afternoon, which is fine with me. The work will always be there, so I pick and choose what I want to do, and whenever family calls, I'm there like 95% of the time, unless it's a situation where I can't, I absolutely can't make it. Oh, it's getting really hot. Too hot for me. But, um... I already planted a couple of Edelweiss for my daughter. My son had bought each of us two, my mom, my daughter, my other son, and me. He bought us each two. And they're not cheap. They're, they're perennials, but I haven't had much luck with them coming back. So we'll see. I have to figure out where I want to plant mine, but I put my daughter's in a pot. So... Um, she can put them wherever she wants. So one pot less and 
pot she could probably use. So that's what I'm doing this morning. Changing plans. Anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hello while I'm waiting for him. Uh, I wish I had an air conditioner on in here, but I'm not going to run the gas just to turn on the air conditioner. I could do that, but I'm not going to. Because gas is like up there again. It'll drop before the election, I'm sure. But um, until then, we're stuck with these insane prices. And we're not even as bad here in Ohio as some of the uh, other states. Some are really horrendous. I know California is... Well, California is always one of the most expensive states. So, at least that's what I think. I don't know. Those of you from California, let me know if that's true or if I'm just way off, way off track with that one. But I'm tired. <laughs> I could use another day off. So, once I get the garage... Quasi organized, I'll, I'll take a couple days of staycation because I'm retired and because I can do that. It's wonderful being your own boss, even if you're still working and you have your own business. That's wonderful because you can set your own schedule and you won't miss the important things in your life. So those of you that are older, that are retired, that are really struggling to make ends meet, um, if you're computer literate at all, there's lots of uh, stay-at-home computer jobs available. That seems to be the trend. Uh, people are enjoying the uh, what happened during the pandemic ex experience where everybody had to start working from home. And a lot of people are liking that. So, but that gives the opportunity of a lot of online jobs available. Or you could start your own YouTube channel. Uh, I would highly recommend that for anybody, as long as you're computer literate. All right, well, here comes my grandson. He's the one that is starting his own business. And uh, I'm looking forward to him doing some things for me. Hi, Deb. Hi. I'm doing the YouTube. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. Did they get you? I don't know. I can't see you with these glasses. Are you on there? Yeah. Okay. That's my grandson, Devin. He's my entrepreneur. <laughs> All right. We're going to go home now. We have a torrential downpour going on here. Wow, it's definitely raining. Well, I'm glad they picked up the donations before it started to pour. It is really raining and it's let up a little bit, but it's still raining pretty hard. Flowers are going to love it. These petunias are so pretty. It's almost going to be time to cut them back a little bit. You say in the 4th of July to cut your petunias back and they'll come back better. Oh, these guys are loving the rain. So, yeah, I'm getting wet. It's blowing here. And this is the front garden that I'm going to hire my grandson to to spiffy up because it needs it. All right, well, I'm going to go in and find something to do. It's too hot to work in the garage and the power's out, so I won't be opening the garage door until the power comes back in. Well, it's still raining. It's been raining for over an hour now, but not as torrentially as it was. But boy, we needed the rain, so I'm not complaining. Except that the power's out, so 
I don't know, hopefully I'll be able to upload this video in a timely way, but we'll see. Um, so, I didn't get anything done work-wise today, but that's okay. I spent uh, a couple of hours at my daughter's house, and uh, we had some breakfast, and well, some brunch, and just chit-chatted. Um, they have uh, honeybees. And she was showing me, this is the first time for them, all the honey that they harvested and uh, how you separate the wax from the honey. And it's an interesting process. So that was kind of a fun thing. They have a whole good half a five gallon bucket of honey. So uh, I'm sure I'll be enjoying some of that too. So, the, the rain kind of feels nice. I, ha I have my window open and the doors open so there's a little bit of a cross breeze because obviously the air conditioning isn't working. But it doesn't seem like it's in the 90 degree um, category right now. But it's still warm and, you know, if the sun comes back out, it's going to get very, very humid. So, um, today's Tuesday, yeah, yes, today is Tuesday, so I have another day or so before uh, the garbage is picked up, so I'm hoping to get more garbage out of the garage, so I'll continue with that task tomorrow, I guess, um, it's kind of hard to figure out your week when the weather is so iffy, you know, but it's all right. I'll get it done. You have to, you know, go with the flow with a lot of things and not get frustrated and uh, just, you know, if plan A doesn't work, have a plan B or C or D, however many plans you deem necessary and work on one of your other plans. So, all right, well, I'm going to sit here and ponder <laughs> because uh, obviously we don't have any lights. I don't have any internet. My ring light that I'm using is battery powered, so yay about that. And my phone does allow me to make a video. It's the uploading I, I'm not too sure about. And I don't know how long the power will be out. Sometimes it's out for a day, sometimes it comes right back on. It depends on how large of an area had a power outage. So, okay, well, I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and uh, I'll be back a little later. So I'm letting the dogs out for the last time this evening. Oops, and it's still very warm this evening and my little lights are just starting to come on so I switched a couple things around I put my chandelier over here on this side of the deck because my elephant ears are getting too big and the little clanker things are starting to get caught up in the elephant ears and I moved the fuchsia over here to this corner in one of the baskets. So oh, it's very peaceful out here this evening. And I'm enjoying the deck immensely. So it's not quite dark yet, it's dusk. And the garden is looking pretty good. <laughs> it's turning into a jungle, considering how bare it was back in April when I first got my nasty gram. So, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I added this little solar light to my little seating area here, and they only had two left at Mark's. So I picked those up. I was hoping to get three, but I only was able to get two. So everything is looking green and lush 
and I'm hoping to have a nice harvest this year. So, and the puppies are out here to do their last business of the night. I usually let them out around 9 o'clock. Hi, Chloe! Hi, Lizzie! <laughs> And then I, I go to bed around 10 and just watch a little YouTube because I need to stretch out when it gets to be that time of the day. So, yeah, I still have a few things to clean up. Nothing horrendous. I've got a lot of tomatoes on this one plant. I have to look and see what kind they are. They're not cherry tomatoes. These baskets are doing very well. These are the ones that I planted myself from um, the flats that I bought. And they seem to really like it here in this spot. So I put another torch flicker light over there. have to do something with this pot. But yeah. And I've decided I had this red bud cut down and it wants to live. And actually this part of the garden, I would like it to be, oh, my nails look horrendous. Oh well, tomorrow is another day. But I would like this part of the garden to have a little bit more shade. So I'm going to let this grow back. It's not super tall, but I'm going to keep it small on the small side. I don't want it like it was before. So, yep. What are you doing, buddy? Did you find some grass to eat? He's helping me do the weeding. I have a Cherokee purple tomato here that I'm just anxiously awaiting for it to um, turn. It's not a super big plant and I don't see any more blooms. But, and I do have blueberries. Maybe I'll get some this year. Instead of, I imagine it's the chipmunks and the birds. So, yeah, it's a nice night for taking a little stroll through the garden and just enjoying my the fruits of my labor. This light goes on automatically when the dogs come out, which is nice. And uh, this thing is something I found in the garage when I was cleaning it out. And I want to train my squash to go up there. This little red bud is coming back too. That broke off from a storm. I wanted to keep that one, but a storm broke that in half, so I'll let that grow for a while. I don't know. Can I make a red bud shrub? That would be good. So, all right. Well, there's a little evening garden tour. I've got a couple of zucchini happening that I'm excited about. I have to cut off some of these leaves though. They're starting to turn yellow. But there's one. And there's another one in there somewhere. I think. Oh yeah, it's down here. Down there. So those are doing well. This one doesn't have any zucchini yet. And these three they're yellow squashes. They're not happy. I don't think they're getting enough sun. So I might pull those out and put them somewhere else. But I see the fireflies are starting to come out. I saw a couple. But you know, they spray so much stuff on the lawns and grass that the poor things, they just can't survive. So, and this tree, I had it trimmed, and it look at all the stuff that's coming out of there. I'm going to have to take that off, because this part of the garden, I do want to have sun. So there's my little woods in the back that I love. 
And, uh, yeah, so thanks for coming and walking in my garden with me. I have quite a few peppers that are almost done. So that's nice. I'll probably end up pickling those. And this thing, I have no idea. Does anybody know what this is? It just, I think it's a, a weed bush. Not, not weed like smoking weed. <laughs> that didn't come out right. Anyway, I think it's a weed that's a bush. But this thing just kind of grew by itself. And I think I need to get rid of that. It's taking over the world. And there's the moon. And my house is still dirty. They're going to be coming soon. Taking care of that. So, yep. I'm in a jungle. I live in a jungle. My buddy found a stick. That's his little uh, hideaway down there. So, all right, are we ready to go in? Shall we go in the house? Did everybody do potty? Come on, let's go, babies. Let's go. Come on, bandit. Let's go in. Come on, Chloe. Let's go in. Good night, garden. See you in the morning. It would be nice if we'd get some rain, but I don't think there's any in the forecast tonight. Come on, girls. Come on, Chloe. Oh, she found something. All right. Let's go in the house. Let's go in the house. Come on. Go, go. Come on, Chloe. Good night.